Hi, you're watching Saturday in the Woodworking Shop with Andrew Pitts, where we talk things woodworking. If you watched my video, my last video, I installed an original saw, a radial arm saw, and I said that the next video would be how to install the extension tables actually build and install the extension table. So that's what this is about. Uh, in this uh, design CAD uh, rendering, you can see the original saw uh, tabletop. You can see my existing shaper tabletop. And you can see the extension tables. And here's a place where the compound miter saw will go. The uh, height of these tables is 35 inches. The height of the shaper table is 37 inches, so I can do shaping here and not uh, have any inter interference from the table itself. So, uh, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at how I, how I built these. I'm taking advantage of this project to use up some of the poplar I have. I've had this poplar here probably 10 years, and uh, it's good for a project like this, so let's see how much we can use. Most of the stuff is cut to uh, 8 fourths, and I'm doing a lot of... Uh, one and three quarter inch and one and a half inch thick pieces on the on the on the uh, extension table, so that works good. And now I'm going to prepare the stretchers. I'm going to use uh, Festool dominoes, uh, two per end for attaching the center stretcher to the smaller stretchers on the ends. So I've got my, my tool set up here with the centering jig on here. Hit one side, then flip it over. Come in from the other side, that gives me two mortises evenly spaced from each top and bottom. Now putting the mortises into the legs use a little different technique. These mortises are going to be vertical on the legs so the stretcher fits on there. Uh, and so since the, uh, the domino uh, machine won't let me use its installed fence to cut this deep, uh, this, you know, far down on the board, I had to actually use a rest piece that the machine will now fit on too. I start from the bottom. I use the base as my guide. There I am. Now I have my two mortises. Okay, so there's the uh, the hold down. I'll be able to, you know, flip this over, drill screws up through the through there into the floor, and hold this whole thing down. So all the framework is done. You can see uh, that's where the compound miter saw will go. Here's a little place for trap door. I can swing down so I can get back here to just height. I can also go around the end of that table. So now I'm going to cut out the, uh, the sheet goods for the tops. And uh, I don't have a big sliding table saw, but uh, I have developed this little technique for using a circular saw to cut sheet goods. So I've got this frame. I'm going to lay a piece of sheet good down on here and then clamp on a straight edge 
and that way I can I can go ahead and run my circular saw and uh, it cuts slightly into the frame but it makes a nice clean cut and it seems to work well. Now comes the shimming part. I've got to get all these surfaces level, so I've got to shim up these tables just a little bit. I'm just going to use some real thin maple veneer, but the saw itself, I'm going to have to use some heavier blocks because we've got a you know, quarter inch or so of shimming to get it up to the right level. This is the trap door that's going to allow me to get through here. I've got a couple of hinges I've placed here. The idea is for this to sit on the hinges, flop down, and a couple of barrel bolts hold it in place in the upright position. So we'll see how that works. Okay, I'm all done with the extension tables. I got four feet that go out to the right, and uh, from the actual cut line. That's uh, 73 inches, so I ought to be able to put my lawn work going out that way. But I still have a table that goes out 60 inches from the cut line to the left, and uh, to the wall, 76 inches. So, you know, I can do a lot in that direction as well. I went ahead and made a little cutout area for the uh, compound sliding miter uh, saw because it's a really useful tool. The only thing I haven't figured out is how to do dust collection on this. I'm going to have to give that some thought. I need to make some kind of a hood back there. I've got a dust collection outlet down there, which was for the old edge sander that, that used to be here. But overall, I'm pretty happy. i got a fence that goes down along the edge. Oh, I didn't show you the little trap door. Just uh, reach under here and undo the... If I can find them. There we go. The bolts, the barrel bolts, drop that down. I can get back here and make adjustments on this pretty easily. And then just go ahead and put that in there and I'm in good shape. So, works good. I think it'll work good. I'll let you know in the future if I have any problems, but I think we're okay. and. Uh, Appreciate you watching.